Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. This is your moon um, readings, I guess, for the week of May 23rd to 29th, and it will lead into the um, your zodiac readings for that week. But this is just the moon energies right now. So we've got a lot going on this week. Um, first, we'll start with the gibbous moon. And it is the waxing, and it is... Uh, this is, you're very close to achieving your goals, is what this has to say. And the word gibbous means bulging. What a, dis what a description, what a descriptive word, right? And, um, and pulling this card at any time of the month, well, we don't go there because we're not pulling it. Um, but it's a possibility of you coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want. Though you're certainly on the right track, what is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there's also a sense that there's a situation is a bit tense, so don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know that a fuse attached to this situation, uh, that there could be a fuse attached. So be careful if you choose to light it. But when... What you need to know is that you are on the right track and now is a good time to review your plans and to keep the momentum going as you move toward your dreams and to stay focused. It's a good time to start a new project and you do need to get into good health habits. Um, or if you need to get into good health habits, it's a good time to start that. And then we have, and this is the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And then on the 26th, we have the full moon. And not only do we have a full moon, but we have a full uh, super moon um, lunar eclipse so we have a lot going on so we'll just start right now with the full moon and it, it's going to be a full moon in Sagittarius all right so um, the full moon in Sagittarius uh, it's a time that when we're reminded that life is an adventure and there's a big wide world to see beyond our backyard. It's about having fun, being bold, and be prepared to sail into uncharted territory. It's about big ideas versus the details. No matter, you know, what, when you draw this card, which is, you know, we're doing it for the moon, it encourages, to, it encourages you to look at the bigger picture. Um, sorry, that's my dog. Um. This situation may have come around, um, you know, is there a situation that, that is around you that you're being distracted? Is there some distraction that's, that's around you? You need to be confident without being overconfident. Um, you need to find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. You know, sometimes that's a, a very delicate balance. So this is the first we've got going on, obviously. It's the full moon. And then we are going to go with it being a super moon. Because it will be. So the super moon is what it means is it basically is um it's when the moon's at the closest point to the earth during a monthly orbit. Uh, it's a full moon, and the, but the moon appears to be um, bigger than it normally is, like 14%. So it can be a very emotional card. And since it's in Scorpio, oh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Sagittarius could be feeling more emotional um, during this cycle. So, this card is basically talking about being larger than life, being special and bursting with energy. You can expect plenty of good things and positive outcomes when this card, when, you know, during this time period. There's a sense of opportunities around you that don't come along every day. So, you know, if something out of the ordinary comes up, sometimes we need to jump on it, you know. You just need to, to be ready. Success is very close. Emotions are running high, but success is close, so you need to, you need to trust it. 
And this is even, you know, talking here that you're close to achieving your goals. So don't ignore the obvious. Something exciting lies ahead. And make sure that you don't blow things out of proportion. You know, like if you're telling the story, don't embellish it too, too much. So this is um, what we're going to conclude with on this for the, for the full moon cycle. This is uh, conclusions are within reach. It's a full moon eclipse. So we are let's see the full moon um, always nears about climaxes are very often about conclusions full moon eclipses are the same but they're on steroids so everything's more intense and again Sagittarius God bless you because you're going to be feeling it you know you're going to take the brunt of it and it could be your sun sign your moon sign or your rising sign it doesn't just have to be or you know if you have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart this could be affecting you too a full moon eclipse can be hard to handle because it portends change something many of us are uncomfortable with but change is part of life and no matter um you know, any time um, that sometimes we just need to accept accept change, even though it might be hard. And this is also, uh, I believe, the flower moon. The full moon um, lunar eclipse is also called the blood moon because of the eerie red that it can um, shadow. It looks like a blood moon. So basically just allow events to unfold and be easy with yourself if you're letting go of someone or something know that it's the right time as hard as it might be forgiving someone for what they did could be a key to resolving the situation um, it's time for you to get back on track forgiveness will set free of karma meditation yoga you know good nutrition so it's a, it's a time for you. It's a time of reflection and it's a time of moving forward and really going after the goals that you're trying to um, obtain. And then to round out on the 27th, um, 28th, and 29th of the month, which to me the full moon energy is 26th, 27th. It's three days before and three days after. So you can be feeling all this. So technically this whole week. But this is, you know, the moon will come out of the full moon and go to the... Um, the waning gibbous moon and on this we have the intensity of the full moon has abated and what are we left with so whatever situation that you're coming that you were in has peaked and it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time out to relax. Mm -hmm. Breathe. We can be on. We can't be on all the time. And if you feel you've been hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. Be honest with yourself if you feel bad about your current situation and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles and some attunement to the moon is you can say I am where I am and it's okay and you should know where you stand either now or very soon and you need to take some time out for your own good it's time for you to share your wisdom and experience with someone else and avoid falling into a slump so you know all in all it's a good time to get things started, but don't beat yourself up over things or situations if um, they're not going exactly as planned or exactly as you want them to or exactly as you want um, them to unfold. Give it some time. Again, the energy is still there this whole week, so give it time. But that is what we have going on for the moon for the week of May 23rd to 29th. And... It's a lot. So good luck to you, Sagittarius. Mm -mm -mm. Hang in there. Hang in there. You're strong and you're fiery, you know. You're fiery sign. So um, hang in there. And uh, stay tuned. Your Zodiac is coming up. Hi, Leo, and welcome to your weekly reading for May 23rd to 29th. This is for those that are born 
um, July 23rd to August 22nd. And this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you because it is general. If you'd like a personal private reading, the information is in the description below, as well as the decks I use and the cards I use, etc. All right. Give the cards a quick smudge. Oops. Try not to burn down the altar cloth. <laughs> the reading cloth, whatever you want to call it. All right, Leo. Let's see what we have going on from May 23rd to the 29th. Again, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video, I would appreciate you to like my video. All right, this is uh, time for a nap, Leo. Wow, so somebody's sleepy, somebody's worn out, somebody's put too much work into something. Sorry about that, Bing. Um, somebody's exhausted. Somebody's had a long week. All right, let's see what we have going on for you. You need a timeout. <laughs> For Leo, from May 23rd to 29th. Leo, 23rd to 29th. All right. Well, and they all fall. These are the slickest cards, I tell you. All right, two more, please. Good deal. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Leo. Again, time for nap. Time for rest. Take, take a time out. Take time for you. You could be recovering from something. It could be a health issue that you need to, you know, take the time out that, that is needed for you to recover or recuperate or um, I have a feeling like getting over something. You have the full card coming in. And this is... Um, this is a card about maybe not trusting your instincts, maybe um, not feeling very confident in the week coming into the week, maybe feeling not on your game. That could be, you know, you could have some sickness going on this week, Leo. You have the Queen of Pentacles and Again, this is about money. So there could be some money loss. There could be some days where you have to take off work. You have two queens down here. That that I, that, that is um, interesting to me. There could be two women, two, and it doesn't have to be, but two nurturing people. Um, you know, one is about thoughts and actions and the other is about the grounding energy and it could be money and it could be work this could be your inner struggle it could be your um you know your thoughts about if you have to miss work you're you're missing the money um it could be an inner struggle again because it's it's i almost feel like you need to take this time for you. You need to take this time out. And you could have this inner conflict of, um, I know I could do this, but it's like, is it the smartest move to make? You know, there's going to be money loss and I could probably come in and do the work, but is it going to be the smartest move to make? So you have this inner, inner conflict going on this week. But the overall energy is take the time for you. And I think with the Queen of Swords is you will take the time for you. You will cut your losses in a sense. And that you will um, you will do what's right and what's true and what's fair. Because that's what the Queen of Swords is about. She's about the truth and fairness. And, you know, if it's your employees or if it's you... You're going to do what's fair. And this happens to be about you. And then you have 
um, the eight of wands and that's fire energy so it's to me toward the end of the week or even um, as you're going through this this week uh, you're not going to be totally down but you're not gonna you're not gonna have the energy it's it's gonna take a little bit for you to build back up to your um, your energy level so you need to give yourself time allow yourself the time um, don't try to get back in the swing of things too quickly all right I'm trying to see if there's anything else here because I find this a very interesting reading Hmm. Yeah, the pentacles, you know. I think one thing I think too is that, you know, you could be a manager of a company or this could be your company or there's your your the hierarchies there. You're you're higher up on, you know, um uh, again a manager position or somebody higher and so it's a hard time it's hard for you to not be there but again you're gonna you're gonna do what's right and what's fair and what's true and you will take the time that you need um, and it might not be like days and days and days off but it might be half a day here and a half a day there it's something about you maybe you're coming back from surgery or something like that but it's building back your strength and this is telling me not to try to push it too much. Don't, don't try to, um, don't try to force it, you know, be gentle with yourself, be easy with yourself. I think that's why you have the two Queens here. Not that they're not that you're female and this is, pertains to you. I mean, it very well could, but the queen energy is a nurturing energy, a motherly energy. You know, you have that, that be easy with yourself energy. So, again, don't push it. Don't force it. You know, you will build back up your momentum. It's going to take a little bit. All right, Leo? I love to hear how this resonates with you. So, uh, again, uh, you can leave a comment below, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful week, and take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take that nap. Bye for now.